Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back again with another video today and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion X360 the Energy Star model. This is an 11-K161 version and in this version, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your laptop and how you make it much faster. I will say about 40-50% much faster. And what are we going to do here is to replace the mechanical drive that they come inside the laptops. They come with 500 or 1 terabyte mechanical drive. And we know that mechanical drive, they have a limit of speed of read and write. And they cannot do multiple tasks at the same time. They have to div divide the speed and all that. And that's at the bottleneck for most of the laptops. In, and unlike the SSD drive, the... And there's only there's no platters or anything like here and it's much much faster than this one I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to switch from mechanical to a SSD But one thing you have to keep in mind once you do a switch from the mechanical to an SSD When you turn on your laptop, it's gonna say that there is no boot device or there's no windows Okay, now you have two options option number one once you switch to an SSD drive you can grab any USB stick at least 16 gig you can download the windows freshly installed on the new ssd drive that's the recommended version but if you are the other half of the people that they're like okay you know what i don't want to lose my installed programs my files and everything like the, all the configuration you can do a cloning before you proceed to uh, changing the ssd drive i would recommend you go to my video description and get one of these uh, sata to a usb3 adapters so pretty much what you're going to do, you want to, before you do anything, you want to connect your SSD drive to a SATA connector right there. And you want to plug into your laptop. And you want to download a program called Mercurium Reflect, which is a free version. You can do a cloning from your main uh, hard drive to an SSD drive. So once you do the cloning, now you have a clone of the whatever information you have in here, Windows and everything else inside the SSD drive. And then you can proceed to doing a swipe and putting the SSD inside the laptop. Once you turn it on, it's going to work uh, perfectly fine. And you're going to have your file, your windows, everything in the same place. But if you want to do a fresh install, which is much recommended to just back up your files. Or you can use, once you take your mechanical drive, you can use this one to move your files for mechanical drive. They are connected the same way uh, to your SSD drive and just grab whatever you want. All right, that's set. Now let's get into it and let's open it up. To open it up, you need a, a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best bits out there. They are S2 class steel. It will last you much longer. So grab a uh, Phillips number zero. And the second tool you will need is an uh, opening tool. You can grab the pro version of this tool set, which they include you an opening tool and all the few other stuff. Or you simply can grab a you know, guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. This is my favorite because it has a soft edges and is really tough to bend. So it's really handy to have this one. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. Make sure it's powered off. You want to flip it upside down. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of screws visible and few screws not visible. On top of here, this one is already fell down. There's a little plastic cover here. Like a, you need to remove this one with a tweezers or something. It's just a little cover to expose this screw right here underneath. Also, you need to remove these uh, rubber legs at the side on the back end only by the hinges. They're not the front one, the back one. So just stick some guitar pick or something underneath. Just lift it up. It has an adhesive to it. But there's a screw right under those. There's one, two right on each. Now we're going to proceed to removing all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and start removing them. Also, you want to take a moment to thank you guys for supporting the channel and yeah, for your feedbacks. Uh, I only realized that it's only 1% of you guys are subscribed to my channel. 
it will be really nice to see people clicking like button and subscribing to my channel it really helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and help people out i really appreciate it all right once all the screws are removed what you want to do you want to grab your opening tool or guitar pick and now what you want to do is stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that about a two millimeter inward now you want to just switch i mean twitch it now what you want to do you just want to I move it around just unhook all the clips underneath just go all the way around to the corner to the back corner left and right side i'm not sticking more than two millimeter inward just about two millimeters and once you did that you want to grab the palm rest or top rest and just want to separate it bring it back don't yank it because there is a two uh, flex cable down there and this one is really dirty underneath so you can clean it up too now to remove the clips the flex cables here you need to grab put your fingernail or something right on this cover and lift it up 90 degrees so this is a black cover right here lift up 90 degrees and slide out the flex cable for the keyboard is the other way around so you have to bring your finger from the back end is a white cover so lift up the white cover 90 degrees and pull the flex cable on the other side all right now that we remove the palm rest so this is your palm rest on top go ahead and clean it if you want to all right down here you can see the whole battery this battery is inflated so if you want to replace your battery again there's one two three three screws and you can just remove it and hook it from there the hard drive is right here this is a 500 gig hard drive you do not need to remove the battery to change the hard drive the hard drive has no screws holding it so what you want to do unhook the clip right here just lift it up 90 degrees and pull out the flex cable grab the guitar pick or opening tool stick it on the back and just lift up the caddy and now the hard drive is being supported by this rubber support right here so you need to just pull it away there's no screws or anything like that just make sure the orientation this side has to be on the top side so remove you will need this adapter don't yank on the cable grab it on the adapter and just you need to unhook this adapter from here so gently go ahead and pull up this adapter now you want to grab the new ssd i would suggest you grab a good brand ssd samsung brand or anything but these are the kingston and adata they are cheap versions depends the client you want to plug in the adapter right here and grab the caddy or the support put it in there all right once you got this one in here you want to place it right in the same place just stick it right in there and grab the open the lock grab the connector slide it in in 45 degree bring it all the way towards the end and then lock it down and you're set and next thing is to grab the to grab the palm rest bring, align it right there open the lock make sure if the lock is closed just open it up and the flex cable has to come from the back end just slide it right down there from the back goes all the way in make sure it has to go evenly inside and then lock it down bring it a little closer grab the flex cable for the trackpad again slide it in and lock it down i don't know if you guys can see it the same way now you want to align the top cover bring it down now what you want to do last part is just pinch the top and the bottom cover just go ahead and pinch it down there we go and uh, there's one more in the corner 
And the last thing would be to just um, put the bottom screws and put the rubber covers on top. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for the hard drive and speed up your laptop. If you like this video, please click that like button and if you subscribe, I really greatly appreciate it. And I take requests from my subscribers. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.